And uh, are you getting good video of this? And we're getting good video now. I have here is my two-dimensional beaker, which is a Ziploc baggie with some water. And I've got a piece of, of wire that I've made into a loop. And I'm doing some more experiments with thin stretched films of water. And what I'm doing here is I'm expanding the loop once you make a uh, you start off with a film about 70 millimeters in diameter, and I'm going to be able to expand this to about 150 millimeters in diameter. And as you expand it, the film gets thinner and thinner and thinner. But these films are not so thin that you can see the interference colors like you can in a soap bubble film. And uh, Don, we copy. That looks really cool. And here I'm going to demonstrate the elasticity in these films. It's amazing. They act just like a drum head, and they'll go ahead and they'll spald off little blobs of water. And again, this is a film about 150, maybe 160 millimeters in diameter. And my calculations show that it's probably about 100 to 200 microns thick based on the initial uh, dimensions and thicknesses of the film before you expand. And there you can see one little blob of water was spalled off and it just sits there instead. And Don, we're, uh, we're amazed. That's uh, really a cool demonstration. There's no way you could pull a film like this in 1G, no way at all. And I had a friend of mine do a little internet research on water films, and he found a 1973 NASA publication from Skylab where they showed for the first time that you could pull water films like this. So this is not a new invention. However, the, the qualities of what you could do with this, I don't think were investigated too thoroughly on Skylab. And uh, we copy that, Dan. And, and there the film broke.